appearance of former defense minister uh, Geoffrey Waliamwamba. We are here at the Viking Post Exhibition Money Laundering Unit where former President Edgar Lungu's daughter, Tassila, has made you know, an appearance following the summons that were given to her by the Drug Enforcement Commission and she has been accompanied by the husband, Patrick Master, who is one you know, of the former councillors for Kablonga um, Ward 12. Now, information that we have gotten so far here at the Drug Enforcement Commission is that the interrogations have not yet commenced. But one thing that I can inform you about is that, you know, she made an appearance about um, 30 to 45 minutes ago. We await to get information from the Drug Enforcement Commission on why they decided or why they have decided to summon uh, the former or daughter of the former Republican president, uh, Tassila. Now, this is the latest, you know, appearance of uh, this is uh, Tassila um, Amwansa. We are saying this because since her election as a member of parliament uh, for uh, Shawama, we've not seen her making an appearance before any law enforcement agencies, be it the Drug Enforcement Commission, the Anti-Corruption um, Commission, as well as the police, making this you know, appearance to be the latest. We don't know why the Drug Enforcement Commission have decided to summon uh, um, uh, Mrs. Chasila Mwansam. All what we can inform you at the moment is that whatever charges or whatever allegations that have prompted the Drug Enforcement Commission to summon Mrs. Chasila Mwansam could be money laundering and related um, allegations. Now, Tassila Mwansa is one of the youngest members of parliament. We know that she should be between the ages of 39, um, 37 and uh, 39 during the election last year, during the 2021 general election. Although her father, uh, pres former uh, President um, Edgar Lungu, lost the election uh, to uh, President um, Hagainde Ijilema, who was then the lead opposition uh, political party. And now many people would probably be interested to know what will come out of the interrogations here at the Drug Enforcement Commission. Now, as I'm giving you this particular update, we also understand that she is not the only member of the Patriotic Front has been investigated or interrogated by law enforcement agencies. Just here where I'm standing a few months ago, former Foreign Affairs Minister Joseph Malangi, who is also a member of the former ruling party, that is the Patriotic Front, did make an appearance here at the Drug Enforcement Commission and he was arrested and charged for acquiring the properties reasonably suspected to be proceeds of crime, which matter is now before uh, the Lusaka Magistrate Court undergoing trial. There are several other members of the Patriotic Front that have also been you know, arrested Others are still being um, interrogated by law enforcement agencies. As recently, we saw the Anti-Corruption Commission seizing properties belonging uh, to former Lusaka Province uh, Minister uh, Bowman Lusambo, worth over 22 million uh, um, which matter is still under investigation. But aside from that, we also know that the former minister is undergoing, you know, trial before the Lusaka uh, Magistrate Court, where he is being accused of acquiring properties reasonably suspected to be proceeds of crime. One thing that we have noticed of this is that as these uh, former officials of the former ruling you know, party, the Patriotic Front, make the appearances before law enforcement agencies. The common charge being slapped on, on them is that of acquiring properties reasonably suspected to proceeds of crime and others also you know, relate to uh, money laundering uh, charges. What will come through today on the appearance of uh, the um, uh, Chawama uh, member of parliament, uh, uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Rada uh, Chasila Mwansa, who is also daughter of uh, President Edgar Lungu, is something that I'm going to be here and will definitely be able to give you an update in that regard.
my name is Darius Junior. Remember that we will continue giving you an update here at uh, the Drug Enforcement Commission Money and Laundering Unit. And also my colleague Memory Nyambe will also continue giving you an update on the appearance of the former Defense Minister uh, Jofi Wadiamwamba, who is currently at Woodlands Police Station. But for now, back to the studio.